Welcome back to Luke Automotive Services. Today, I'm a tow truck driver. Uh, we had our customer, our new customer, gave us a call, said I've been trying to get my transmission out of my car, on my back in my garage, and I give up. Can you guys help? We said, sure, we can do that. Want to see what we're going to do with this car? Click like, subscribe, leave us a comment below. Stick around. It should be entertaining. Maybe even a little educational. shrimp so as you can see we have the Pontiac this 67 Firebird up on the rack uh, it was brought into us well actually we went and picked this one up because uh, it stopped running and the fella decided he was gonna pull his tranny out in his garage on his back and he's probably about my age and I don't like doing stuff on my back on the garage floor and, and he found out really quick that that's not something fun to do with a BOP bell housing. Um, so he called us up. He's like, hey, can you guys uh, get this tranny pulled out for us and tell us what, what it needs? And Sure. So I went over there, rolled back, picked it up, brought, brought it over. That aside, um, we had a couple customers not show up on Monday, which disrupted our workflow for the shop so I had Bruce pull the tranny out of this thing while I worked on a couple other things and I've got the tranny on the bench I tore it down and I found some bad stuff um, I'll just show you what what I found because we're gonna figure out how we're gonna go about fixing it we can rebuild this tranny or we can get them a uh, completely new units or we can upgrade to a 700 r4 not a 700 r4 to uh, 204 r would be what I would do because that's a bolt-in swap and it gives you an overdrive which is great for driving around this thing actually has a pretty uh, pretty good freeway gear in it so I don't know that the overdrive would be as beneficial on this one since this thing doesn't have like 373 gears in it uh, but we'll see what the customer wants to do and we'll figure that out let me take you over here to the trans table and we'll show you what we got going on because it's a mess so I cracked the pan open and a bunch of chunks fell out and that's never a good sign. Then I pulled the pump housing off and I found this and that is a broken sprag. You can see the outer race is actually cracked. I don't know if it cracked first and that's what caused the rest of the destruction. Um, I don't know. Maybe. But this is going to need an entire new drum. Pop these clutches out, take a look at them real quick. There we go. Clutches look all right. That bearing's got some weird wear to it. It's been angry. my direct clutches are a little dark but the steels aren't overheated so that's pretty good I'm not supposed to rattle and be full of metal Ooh, that's not good Weird. That's awkward. It's like eggshelled. Ooh, that one's been hot. Just 
all that surprising. Yeah, those guys are cooked. See the discoloration from overheating. See how the clutches are all black. They should be a lighter brown. That's probably because when this fragged, it probably tore up the seals. So this drum's toast. Complete garbage. Let's, uh, let's see what else we can get out of this thing and do a final assessment. The band's all pitted, so it looks like it's starting to delaminate. Needs a band. And let's get the rest of the stuff out of the bottom, shall we? I gotta pull the speedo gear off the tail housing. Let's do that. Needs a tail shaft bushing, it's a little tore up. heavy weights in it. I can pull my clip. Another chunk of a busted sprag. to come off there. Those bushings are... The inside bushings are not looking great. starting to wear through the brass. A weird wear pattern to it. Sun shell doesn't look bad. These don't really fail all that often. Unless you're doing dumb stuff. Uh, let's pull our plate out. Tail shaft bushing looks all right. thrust bearing kit assuming we rebuild this hey you can still see the writing on those those look good
Sprague feels all right. Well, that about does that. Uh, Tranny needs a complete tear down, cleaning, new friction steel, gasket set, thrust washer kit, bushings, forward drum and sprag, um, and whatever else we find. So that's a pretty major failure. That's uh, what we call a catastrophic failure in most cases in modern days because uh, with the amount of metal it's going to need a cooler, it'll need cooler lines flushed, new, new cooler, and then whatever the customer decides to do with the transmission. He has a he has a tall enough gear in this thing that he'll probably just redo a turbo 350 but we'll have to see what's available out there with a BOP housing and uh, then we'll put it back together. So now it's time to call the customer and give him the good news or give him the bad news I guess. Whatever. That's working on cars. Stuff breaks. You gotta fix it. What a mess! So I was able to get this transmission torn down on Saturday and looked through it and found metal frags from the sprag and that's never good because that means there's metal through the cooler lines and the cooler and through the tranny and while that can be fixed um the easiest and fastest solution to get this car back on the road for us as a repair shop and the best end result for the customer is to put put a new transmission in it uh, it can be rebuilt. It takes a lot of time to clean metal out of one of these. And in the sake for the <clears throat> for the sole purpose of expedience, we are going to put a new transmission in this car. We ran down the street. They had them in stock. Picked up a TCI Street Fighter, I think. Anyway, a TCI uh, BOP Bell Housing Turbo 350, which will be a bolt-in swap. We are going to put new transmission cooler lines, a new transmission cooler, and we are going to put a uh, TV cable setup, sorry, not TV cable, kick down cable setup onto this because the old one was just nipped off and blocked off and they weren't running a, a kick down cable. And that's not a catastrophic event on a car like this, um, but it can, you know, if you're lugging a, if you're lugging a high gear with a, 455 the torque output of that thing's pretty serious so you could actually probably overheat the the clutches uh not running the kick down because you're not running in the correct gear so for a straight line drag car kick down's not necessary but for a street car for the benefit of longevity and drivability we're going to make sure the kick down cable works surface because uh, I've had them with weld slag burrs that cut the seal. Little things you don't know until you know that it's a problem. That's not a BOP housing. This is supposed to be a BOP housing. Well, that's frustrating. I guess we'll figure out a solution for that. So I thought about not making too much fun of TCI for a minute, and then uh, I realized that that's not who we are. We, we make fun of ourselves as much as everybody else. And uh, 
I put this thing up on the stand and I didn't even think to look at the housing. I'm sitting here and I'm like, well, what's wrong with this housing? Well, what's wrong with this housing is it's a Chevy housing. I need a BOP housing. The box is labeled BOP Turbo 350. This is a Chevrolet. H350. So that's a setback because you have a part that's box drawn. I was trimming my, my kick down cable and trying to install it and I pulled the bolt out. Well, the bolt that's in this hole is a metric bolt. It's a standard, uh, it's a standard bolt hole. So I'm going to have to clean those threads. And then I looked at the, the bolt that's back here in this one, and I can't pull it out by hand, and I thought that was odd, and I realized that that's also a metric bolt. And it's run in a couple threads incorrectly, so I would have to say, TCI, you need to train your, uh, your new hire uh, on what BOP housings are compared to Chevy housings when he's putting them in the box. And you also need to uh, properly label your bolts for uh, metric and standard because the wrong bolts are being sent in this. It makes me question everything else about this transmission when I see something like this. Unfortunately, that's a setback. I was trying to have this, uh, this transmission done today. Now we're going to have to run back an hour round trip to the store, repackage this, change it out, check the box before we leave with it to make sure it's BOP housing. And then come back. So I guess with that, that's uh, pretty much where this story ends until we get the correct transmission for this car. But that's the story of my life. It's, it's always something. So I'm going to pull in a customer's car. It is a, I think it's an 81 C10. It is here for gear change and posi unit. It's one of our fellow viewers. Appreciate you bringing your cars into us to work on. This one is a viewer's car. Uh, I'm going to pull it into a rear gear set and posi, put together, and hopefully turn that around so that I get something accomplished today. So we'll get started on that here in just a minute. With that, uh, you guys have a great day. Stay safe out there. See you on the next one.